Hi everyone. My name is Pete and I live in New York. I'm having a problem with my Anderson doors. You are probably too. That's why you're watching this video. The outside cladding of my sliding and French doors is peeling. It's coming off. You'll notice it's coming off. And if I don't do something, my doors will be totally destroyed this winter. I called Anderson. They told me my doors were out of warranty since they were 22 years old and basically would not offer me any help. They said that is an unsolvable problem and the only thing I could do is replace the doors. That was not the answer I wanted to hear. I checked on the web, couldn't find any good solutions out there. So I put on my thinking cap and I believe I came up with a really good solution and it's not too difficult. Time will tell if this repair holds up. I believe it will because of the materials I use. And I wanted to share the solution with you so you can use this fix on your doors as well. I have three sets of sliding doors, one set of French doors with two side panels. So altogether, I have 10 panels. These are my French doors from the inside. Anderson windows above it. Double French doors, two side panels is really like four doors. Of Anderson and the outside, 80% of them are experiencing this problem. These are my double French doors with two side panels. So it's basically four door sections. Oh, look. My Anderson cladding is coming apart. What to do? Buy a new door? I don't think so. So, what to do? I hope to show you that it's not that difficult. And let's proceed. My first video on YouTube just felt so good about this solution that I did want to share it. Thanks for watching, and let's see how you, what you think of my solution. You may be saying to yourself, so what is this miracle solution? What are you using to bond? Glue will not work because vinyl or aluminum cladding and wood, they expand and contract at different degrees in extreme temperatures differently than glue. So of course, glue will fail. Glue is not an option. That was my first thought, glue. And luckily enough, I called the company that makes the product I'm going to show you and they suggested, don't use glue. Try the Weathermaster sealant. This is it. Weathermaster sealant. Okay. It's really a miracle because it has a great bonding strength and can be applied down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It sets up pretty quick. They say, I think, 24 hours for a complete, complete cure. It's paintable, and this is what I'm using. Not silicon, but I'm using this because of its bonding strength. Amazing, and it will expand and contract, and it's very flexible. So I believe this will be a long-term solution. How do I get it into the cracks? Well, I just open it up a little bit, and I squeeze a little bit in with my gun, okay? And then I work it in with, my wife's a nurse, luckily, and I have some tongue depressors, very thin wood strips. So I stick them in the crack after I apply the uh, Weathermaster tight bond. And uh, the people there, the technical people, were very helpful in answering a lot of questions I had on this product. And uh, I decided to go ahead and use it. Got it on Amazon. Not expensive, yet wonderful. So I would say, go ahead, give this a shot. This is amazing. I have found other uses for it in my house. You have to be creative. Things that would require me replacing, but yet I'm able to fix it because of the flexibility uh, and um, I guess um, multi-uses of this product. This is a set of my Anderson doors. I've already started to repair one side. I wanted to show you what the problem is. As you look at the cladding at the bottom, you'll notice it's coming off. Now Anderson says there's nothing you can do but I believe the material that I'm using will flex and expand with winter and summer. This section has been done yesterday. 
Okay, operating my own camera, so uh, not gonna get many camera angles with this one. Okay, first I just put a little bit of tape on on the glass. Okay, here I'm gonna tape the whole door because later I'm gonna probably do it another weather stripping on top of the repair. Now the bottom tape is not that important because this stuff actually comes off with a razor blade, the Weathermaster. So basically if you overshoot, it's very rubbery and all you have to do is take it off with a razor blade. Okay, so here we get the point. Okay, here, I hope you can see, I got my tongue depressor from my wife. And you can see this stuff is peeling off, okay? So what I like to do is clean out any dead pieces that I can get my hands on. But this stuff has been great, it bonds to anything. Now I take my weather sealant, tight bond weather master sealant, okay? I pull back the vinyl where it's broken. And I shoot in. Okay, I shoot in and I try to get it a good stream. I don't know if you can see this, but I guess you can. You can see me putting it in there. It's not a big deal. Just squeeze her in. Where it drops down, you know you got more of a gap. Here it's really coming off. So I want to get it in there, okay? I want to get a good amount in. It'll come out, whatever excess will come out when you press on it later. Then I take my trusty tongue depressor. Maybe your wife, your girlfriend, your mom is a nurse. Okay, and you go in there and you smush it around so that the weather sealer bonds to, you know, like sort of gets on both sides. Okay, that's nice. Okay, nice. Okay, now I give it one more quick shot. One more quick shot to make sure we have a lot in there. Okay, I use this to bend back the stuff too. I'll shoot in more. Wow, I love this stuff. Shoot it in. Up oh, on the glass, but no worries. That comes off, especially... Especially when it's wet, it's easy to come off. Okay, use a little alcohol. Now I'm gonna go off the video a little bit because I, I discovered there's a little bit coming apart here. I wanna try to get that too. Okay, I don't know if you can see that far over. I'm over here now. But there's a little bit and it's really tight. So I'm gonna try to get some in there and work it in. Okay, it should be good. It's in there. This part is just really the edge. Okay, that's about the deal. Take out the tongue depressors. Now you can see when I press on it, any excess comes out. You see it coming out? I start low to make sure. Coming out there, see? But I get that with a razor blade tomorrow when it dries. Press on it, ugh, comes out, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, but I want to make sure I have some weight on there, okay? So what I do, I'll take my trusty ladder, press it on there. Whoops, lost you because I need my dumbbell. To now, put on here to apply some more weight. You see it coming out. Okay, and that's the story. I leave it 24 hours. Approximately 24 hours has elapsed. Uh, after I finished showing you how to seal the vinyl back to the door yesterday, I decided to put one more coat of sealer on top for weatherizing. So I wanted it to cure in one shot because I didn't want to have to make it a two-part process. So that was easy. I just took the weather master and I put a bead on top. Now let's see how it looks. I'll move my innovative system of fastening because as I explained it's hard to get a 
carpenter's clamp with a deep throat. And when you're working on a window like this, it's going to be impossible. So basically, a window or door like this, you can't get in there. So okay, let's take a look. Come a little closer. Let's see how this bad boy looks. Okay, if it starts to stick a little bit, you could use a razor blade. Okay, so you get a really clean cut. And this sealant is not a, is not silicon. This is better than silicon. It was developed by the company to outperform silicon in many respects. So I would use this because of its bonding strength and its other properties. Okay, great. And there you can see when you have a little overspill, you can just trim it with the razor blade, not a big deal. And later I'll go in here and smooth it out. Look at how nice and smooth it comes. Wow. Look, beautiful. So later I'll do that. I'm not going to take a whole YouTube of that. And then we take this off. Hopefully it'll come off in one piece. Look at how tight it is. Now, you saw that yesterday. It was out. However, this door was actually peeling down. It was coming out. It was a little warped. It was like preventing my screen door from opening and closing. So... I put it in there, did my system, and even though it was warped a little bit, when you put the pressure on it, the weight of the dumbbell, the weight of the pressure, it's perfect. So now I tighten this, just clean this up a tiny bit. Okay. I mean, now I'm good to go for winter. I could play around with it, make it look pretty. It's also paintable. Okay, it's also paintable. So I take any any low ridges off so that the water will go down when it rains or the snow. Okay. And uh, a little bit of tape stuck there. Get that off. And that's it. Okay, so as you see, a little more cleanup, this thing will be perfect. Comes right off, okay, and cleans up perfectly. So... Got to play around a little bit, but wow, a lot better to have a broken Anderson door. So how do you secure the cladding against the door so that the material can bond? Well, any way you can. Look at my, some of the methods I devised. I've used an assortment of things, including a ladder, dumbbells to add weight, this firmly presses the cladding against the side, and I want to get a full 24-hour cure before I remove the weight from the cladding. If you notice, of course, I've taped the windows and I've taped the edge of the door so that it doesn't get on the vinyl. But this stuff is very easy to work with. Now, here we don't have bottom panels. If you remember, we did these yesterday over here. I did them yesterday. But these side panels were starting to get loose. The side panels also come apart. So if you remember, I, well, I didn't show you on the video, but I did the same procedure. Here I had to squeeze it in, try not to pull it too far away because it'll keep running if you pull it. So you have to get a little bit of product in there. And let's see how the result is, okay? I used a board to get continuous pressure. Okay. And the old dumbbell trick. Wait. Okay. On this side, I ran out of uh, benches, so I used my old ladder trick. And I removed the ladder. And again, to press on here, because it was a long run, I wanted to equalize pressure, I used a board. Now look at this. Wow. Nice and close here. Can't even see it. Here, we might have to do a little trim work. Look at how nice. Wow, like new. Wow. And go up here and check the side panel, because this is a side panel. Came out beautiful again. I was afraid these doors were going to be toast. And of course, Anderson told me there's no solution. Buy new doors. I guess I'd have to throw these doors in the dumpster. But I decided I'd rather repair them and not go through the trouble and the expense, because they quote you a price, which is 100% list price. Probably delivery is not free and then the inside is wood so I'd have to redo them. So I hope you enjoyed my YouTube I hope this solution helps you. Let me know 
give me a, a holler. Uh, see my contact information on the vid. Thank you.